Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the biggest contender that I had for the CR10 Smart. And the biggest contender I had was the Creality CR10 S Pro V2. It's a bit of a mouthful, but a lot of people are really saying that out of the box, this is truly the printer that prints perfectly right out of the box. It's got all the upgrades that anyone would want to have. And a lot of people on YouTube were recommending uh, doing on the CR10 Smart. It's got auto bed leveling with the BL Touch. And just in case your power goes out, it has the resume after a power outage. And something to note about that, there was actually a power outage in my area about a month ago. And I was printing like a 48 hour print. And I was happy to see that after the lights came back, after the power came back, that the print actually resumed and that saved a lot of filament that saved a lot of time and essentially that saved a lot of money so the cr10 smart does that as well so very very thankful for that and also the cr10 does the automatic bed leveling but it's using a different touch system it's not using the bl touch system and the bowden tube for the cr10 s pro v2 is I think a Capricorn tubing so it's a higher quality Bowden tube and another great feature about the CR10 S Pro V2 is that it's got a dual gear extruder and that creates for a smoother extrusion I know that a lot of people were having problems with the CR10 Smarts extrusion some people were throwing on the MK8 all metal extruder and I was doing it for a lot of them uh, what I did as I told Creality that my extruder was having an issue and it really was. It was under extruding and creating little holes in the layers and they sent me a new extruder. It looks nearly identical but apparently the material is better and it seemed to have worked. I really I really don't know like what the big differences was. They just said it's built with a reinforced material and you can really tell the difference in the weight of it in like the density of the plastic used and another thing I liked about the CR10S Pro V2 uh, is that it had the knobs to adjust the bed leveling for some reason the Creality CR10 Smart didn't have that it's just there's really nothing on the bottom you have to do it all digitally but the fact that the CR10S Pro V2 did have those uh, bed leveling knobs right here and here um, I found out to be something that, hey, you know what, if the bed leveling's not working, then might as well just use the manual bed leveling. So I was really considering getting that. Also, another big difference with the CR10S Pro V2 is that they don't use a glass bed. They use like a flexible magnetic bed, and apparently that thing really sticks. And funny enough, the CR10 Smart Pro, you know, uses that as well. They, they switched away from the glass bed. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my glass bed video where I'm taking a hammer to the print on my glass bed, uh, go ahead and take a look at that video and see how strong this uh, glass bed is. They sent me a, a new glass bed. I used to have another one, but there's this box here. And they sent me, they sent me a new glass bed. And here's the old one. Uh, I just put it in the box for safekeeping, but this one was a bit warped. So with the new glass bed, it's just so sticky. It's ridiculous, um, but nonetheless, it's good. It's a good thing. And so I switched it out and I'm very happy with this glass bed. It's doing a fantastic job, really enjoying it. And yeah, one of the biggest reasons that I didn't get the CR10S Pro V2 was that it didn't have these um, Z bars here. These bars are supporting the the top axis here as it goes higher and higher and I really just thought that was necessary for all the complaints people were having with Z wobble and stuff like that that I just figured hey you know what that's a new thing that they're adding to the machines it's a new piece of technology new upgrade so I figured hey that is something that I really want to have I can see how that can be helpful so that was one of the biggest reasons also why I got the Creality CR10 Smart Another big reason was that it just looks so nice. I really like the aesthetics of the CR10 Smart. It's got that stealth design. It's all black. It's really sweet looking machine. In regards to the CR10 Smart, I never really used the built-in Wi-Fi function. I never really got into like wanting to print uh, through a phone, although it's probably something that I should look into. 
and the intelligent auto leveling that a lot of people I think are complaining about, I think works fairly well. I can't, I don't have any like data on that or anything, but whenever I make a change or like I tighten the, the wheels on the bottom of my bed, I run a automatic bed leveling on it. It seems to do its job. So overall, I'm really happy about uh, this purchase I made. I'm really happy with the one that I went with. And like I said in a previous video, when I bought this, I actually really wanted to return it and get the CR-10S Pro V2, and I'm glad I stuck with this. The next printer I was intending on getting was called the uh, CR-10S 5, and I really like the print area on this one. It's a 500 by 500 by 500 millimeter. It's really a really a large print area. The next printer I get, I want to get a really large printer uh, that has a really large print area. I'm a fairly tall dude, I'm 6'1", and in future videos I'm considering making some sort of armor. I haven't decided on what I want to do, whether it's in the Star Wars field or the Marvel world, um, but I gotta find a piece of armor that'll fit me, because I'm a fairly tall dude. So I was looking into getting that 500 by 500 by 500 millimeter Creality printer. And I don't know if you guys are noticing, we got the Dark Thrones up here that are on my Etsy shop. This one is the one that I printed out the first time around. This one is my second order, I'm happy to say. This, someone had ordered another Dark Throne phone holder, and I'm printing that out right now. Over here, I'm printing out the chair. I'm very happy to say that that's printing out very nicely. I was trying a new print format. I usually print the back face down like this, or uh, on its back, rather. And this time, I printed it like that, and when it got up to these... When it got up to these tips, it was too brittle, and it just broke off. So that was back to the one right there that I printed out, and I finished this morning at 5 a.m., but that top part just didn't hold up. It was getting too thin. So unfortunately, I have to print it again, uh, but I printed on its back just like I did that one, except the supports are really difficult to remove that way, but it's okay. It's, it works and I'm super thankful that we got a second order for this thing this is just awesome guys I'm really thankful that people are actually caring enough to buy this and yeah this is the Etsy business that's slowly slowly growing I want to throw some more stuff on there it's been really busy recently but I intend on getting some more designs on there that people can get if you guys have any ideas on what you'd like to see on Etsy let me know I can model that up and throw it on there if it's something that I uh, would like to do as well and yeah these 3d printers are awesome just been a wonderful experience bringing this technology into my life and just you know helping people that need help with certain parts around their house like you see in my previous video before this one where i made a nut and a bolt and then you know like this stuff where people want to have cool little products like this that are not available mass market and Someone can just model it up, 3D print it, and provide it. You can throw your phone on there. It's a great conversation piece. It's fun. And I see all the people who do cosplay with, with 3D printing, and it's just amazing, amazing thing. Uh, I love 3D printing. I see this being a really big part of the future. And, yeah, I mean, even 3D printing with metal is starting to become a thing now. So hopefully we'll, we'll have stuff that is more widely available mass market. I uh, would love to be able to print metal parts, that'd be cool. Like, I'm currently working on a personal project. I'm going to slowly start revealing it. It's a desk, so I needed some metal parts for that desk. And that would be really cool to be able to print that out and see that. Alright guys, in this video we talked about the CR-10 Smart being a contender to the CR-10S Pro V2. The one that everyone says is the printer to buy if you want it to work right out of the box just as is with all the upgrades and bells and whistles that you would like to get an upgrade on other machines. I'm happy I went with the CR-10 Smart. It was a learning process. Not as difficult as I thought it was going to be after watching reviews on YouTube. So still very thankful for this machine. It's a great machine. And guys, check out in the link below my Etsy shop. I got this on there. And I got a few other products on there. If you guys like any of the stuff you see there, please go ahead and purchase it. I'll 3D print it for you. And we'll go on this 3D printing journey together. And please remember to like, subscribe to see more content like this. Hit that notification bell so you're reminded every time I post a video. Until next time, guys, peace, love, and joy.